Hello and welcome to RetroBreathe. In this video, you'll learn how to turn your Miu Mini into a great media player for watching all your favorite videos, movies, and TV shows. To do this, we'll use a port of FF Play that's been created for the Miu Mini. You can think of FF Play almost like a universal media player, which is usually used via the terminal. Thankfully though, it's been ported to your Miu Mini and you can launch your videos like you do your normal games. Let's get started by browsing to the Onion Wiki. On the right hand side, there's a sidebar and you'll see an entry for a video player FF Play. Click on that button and then click the link here which will take you to the official FF Play GitHub. Click the topmost zip file to download the app. Open that zip file and copy the contents onto the root of your Miu Mini SD card, overwriting and or merging when prompted. Don't worry, this isn't going to affect any of the files that are already on your SD card. Now all you need to do is open the media folder then videos, and then drop your video files in here. You can also create a subfolder, for example, for different TV shows. However, you can't put a subfolder within a subfolder. So for example, you can have a subfolder for Sonic X, but then inside that, you cannot have subfolders for season one, two, and three. You just have to have the video files themselves. Once your video is in the folder, insert the SD card and power on your Miu Mini. Refresh your ROMs by pressing select and then refresh ROMs. Go into your games and you'll find a new videos icon. Choose your video from the list, just like as if it were a game, and there we go, it's playing. To control your video, you can use the following buttons. Up goes forward 60 seconds, down goes back 60 seconds, left goes back 10 seconds, right goes forward 10 seconds, A pauses, B frame advances, X progresses 10 minutes, Y goes back 10 minutes, L1 cycles the audio channel, for example if you've got two different audio tracks, L2 cycles the video channel if there are multiple video tracks, R1 will cycle the audio, video and subtitle tracks all at once, and R2 will cycle the subtitle channel. Press start to stretch to full screen mode, or toggle between widescreen mode if it's a widescreen video. And you can press select to toggle between an equalizer and this other weird screen effect. And finally, you can press menu to save your progress and leave the video. So FF Play supports pretty much every file format under the sun. However, whilst the Onion Wiki says anything under 1080p will run, in my actual experience, the Mini really does struggle even with 720p, and it may skip a lot. Also, the 720p or higher resolution is completely wasted on the Miu Mini's 640x480 screen anyway. So if anything, you're just wasting storage space. We're going to downsample our videos to a lower resolution to make them play well on the Mini and also reduce the file size in the process. To do this, we'll use a free open source program called Handbrake and it's available on Windows, Mac and Linux and works pretty much the same between the three. Browse to handbrake.fr to download and install it. When you open Handbrake for the first time, it may tell you to install .NET 6.0. Just click yes, the file that you need will download automatically, and you can click through the installer. Once .NET 6.0 is installed, you can open Handbrake itself. Downsampling your videos is really easy. Start by clicking open source and select the video. On the preset dropdown, click very fast 480p30. 480p30 will create a great compatible video with a very small file size which will work perfectly on your Miu Mini. It will keep the aspect ratio of your video as well, so a widescreen video will still be widescreen. Now Handbrake is an incredibly complex program if you want to get into it and it has plenty of features available. So if you want to tinker and look at some Handbrake tutorials to get the most out of your video content, you can go ahead and do that, but that's a little bit out of scope for this video. For now, just choose 480p30. At the bottom, you can choose an alternate save location to save the encoded video. Just don't save it directly to the Miu Mini or try and encode it on the SD card. You'll want to do this all on your computer and then copy the video files over to the SD card when you're done. If you want to do multiple videos, you can click add to queue to add the current video to the processing queue. Then just open a second source video. When you're ready, click add to queue and do that for as many as you like. You can click on queue to view it and then press start to start, or you can just press start from the main screen instead. The progress is shown at the bottom of the window. When it's done, grab the converted files and drop them into the media videos folder on your SD card, just like before. And there we go. As you can see, this particular movie is now running perfectly. By the way, the only major issue I've come across with FF Play on the Miu Mini is that when you change the audio track, the whole thing kind of messes up with fast video and out of sync audio. However, if you simply exit the video and re-enter, the audio track you selected previously will play without any issue. So it's just a case of basically closing out of the video and going back in if you want to change the audio track. One last tip, if most of your video content is in widescreen, 
and you want it to start in widescreen automatically every time you open the app. You can open the emu ffplay bin folder and rename ffplay to ffplay underscore four underscore three. Then rename the ffplay underscore 16 underscore nine file to simply ffplay. Now your videos will boot into widescreen automatically. Honestly, it absolutely blows me away just how good the Miu Mini is. Words really don't describe it. Every time I think it's shown me everything that it can do, there's another capability that just seems to come out of the woodwork. Thank you to everybody involved in porting FF Play to the Miu Mini. I think it's a really excellent way, especially to watch old cartoons and any other old movies or whatever that has that four by three ratio. And even widescreen content looks great on the screen as well. And thanks to the small resolution, the file sizes for these videos is also very, very small. It also supports multiple audio tracks like English and Japanese and subtitles for those who are inclined. Well, that's it for this one. If you like this video, please go ahead and leave a like on it and consider subscribing to my channel for more Miu Mini and other retro handheld and gaming content. Please also let me know what you're watching on your Miu Mini in the comments, as long as it is family friendly. Thank you very much for watching Retro Breeze, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.